Okay, so we are going to practice applying back stitches. So the back stitch is one of the strongest hand stitches that you can use in garment construction. It is an embroidery stitch, but it can be used and it is used to replace machine stitching. So if, if you happen to have a break in a machine stitch in your garment, you can use the back stitch to repair that break. So we are going to practice back stitching. So make sure your needle is threaded. So we have here an already worked row of stitches. So these stitches are no larger than a quarter of an inch. Okay, and, um, if you want to use the centimeter side, then no larger than half of a centimeter. Okay, larger than that will not be small enough to use in this capacity, which is to use to replace machine stitching. So we're going to start on the wrong side of the garment. Now you can definitely use tape and mark the stitch spacing on your tape and you will see a demo of that with the running stitch so we start on the wrong side of the fabric notice i didn't turn over to see when i drag my needle down the fabric i can see where the point is going and i stop where when it reached my line so the knot is on the wrong side and i'm going to take a stitch no larger than half a centimeter i'm going to come up leaving a space that same distance now for any worked hand stitch, any hand work stitch, you want to ensure that you do not pull your thread too tight because you will get gathering. So we take a stitch, then you leave a space the same distance as your stitch. Then we come ahead of our last stitch and then you come up leaving another space. That's the pattern for the back stitch. You start off with an initial running stitch, and then you leave a space, then you fill in the gap. Ensuring that you don't pull your thread too tight, because then you will have gathers. For it to focus. So we come in ahead of our last stitch, then you come out right away. So that's the pattern we take. Okay, oh, I'm not on the line. Let's stay on the line. If you if you get off of your marked line, it's going to look crooked. It's going to look messy. So no larger than a quarter of an inch or half a centimeter. And you keep that pattern up until you get to the end. That's the back stitch. In the back of the your work, it will look a little fussy like this. Because you're overlapping a stitch, you will have some threads that will overlap in the back. There's your back stitch.